Hello, my name is Anjani, and this video is going to give us some steps on how to release emotional blockage. The number one step to releasing emotional blockage is stop referring to it as an emotional blockage. So emotions are basically energy in motion. Now, if you haven't given that energy a place to go, its own expression, its own movement, what else is it going to do? You know, it's energy and it's something that we've created through our own emotions. Emotions are um, ravenous at times, they're intense, and emotions are what create some of the most amazing art in the history of our world. So it's very powerful. Emotions are very powerful. And they want to have a place to go. They want to have um, an experience also. It's, you know, it wants to move. So if you call it a blocked emotion, you're giving it this, that's what it does. It's just staying there and it's blocked. So number one, stop referring to it as an emotional blockage. I hear it all the time. I hear people say it all the time. They come in and say they have an emotional blockage, which is fine. I, I get it, you know, because we're not trained. We're not taught how to work with energy and how to work with our emotions. It's not talked about. And a lot of times growing up, it's actually um, what we're taught to block it. We're taught to put it somewhere, store it somewhere because we're not told what to do. Number two, so let's go to the next thing. What do we do? Process your emotions, feel your emotions, give them voice, let them move. They're just gonna move. You can watch it, you can feel it, you can participate with your emotions in that sort of way. So there's a lot of different techniques to processing emotions. The very most basic and what I feel is most resonant with people is to feel your emotions. So I have a really good friend who we're both intellectual types. We like the books, we like to study. And when things get cooking inside, you know, it's, it's easy for me and a good friend of mine to um, analyze, rationalize, try to make sense of the emotions and one really good thing that came about from a conversation we had this week was, you know, put the books down and feel the emotions. Come back and calcul do your calculations later. Figure out whose was whose, where, you know, where things came from, like all the things we like to do um, when we're having an emotional outburst or, you know, a flare up or whatever you want to call it. But the main thing is, Put the books down, put down everything and just sit and feel it. So, you know, one of the first things I used to do when I was really beginning to be smart about my emotional process and not just being unconscious about it, um, I was married and my ex-husband could really push every button in me. So what I started practicing was when he was doing his part in our dynamic, that I wouldn't just react, which was what I normally would do, was just listen to what he said partially and then just say something back. Instead, I just started listening, breathing, following my own breath. I would inhale, exhale, listen to what he was saying. And I would notice in my body how the things he said would hit me in different places. And instead of just reacting, I would just keep breathing and noticing, breathing and noticing. And that became a really good way for me to start to get in touch with what's happening. Okay, now I'm getting angry. I could feel my eyeballs get hot and feel like they were pouncing out of my head. Okay, now I'm scared. I can feel it in my belly. I could feel, you know, like a twisting knot in my belly. And I would just keep noticing, just keep noticing. And so it be becomes like second nature now that I, you know, something happens and I instantly, you know, I can feel 
energy just surging through my body. And instead of reacting, I let that move. And I just become very present with my body and breathe and let it move and breathe and let it move. Very simple way to start processing emotions. So that's number two. Number one, stop calling it emotional blockage. Number two, fill your emotions. Number three, just accept it. Emotions happen. It's part of life. So just accept it is, I'm saying that because I feel like there's a huge part of us that wants to rise above the emotions. We want to transcend this human experience and you know, we start to feel something and then we're like, oh, time doesn't exist. We are all one. You know, all these things, which I believe are true. It's true. Time doesn't exist. It's a construct of our mind. Like I get all that, but we're in a human body. We are going to feel energy. We're going to feel emotional. We're going to have, you know, it's part of life. So that's number three, except that there is a full spectrum of emotions and they just like a rainbow. We can't have just pick a color and like, I really like pink. So I want to have pink all the time, or I really like green. I want to have green all the time. Guess what? There's going to be yellow. There's going to be blue. There's going to be purple. It's all there. This is part of being human. So that's three steps. Stop calling it emotional blockage. Feel your emotions and accept that this is part of life. So for the for the first step of not calling it emotional blockage, I just want to give a few things that you can refer to it as. Um, I like to call it a placeholder. I like to call it a trigger point. And this is emotionally, you know, we'll have um, sort of like when I say placeholder, it means that to me, it means like a post-it note, like, okay, sometimes I, I'm going to come back to that later. I know that's there. Um, it's showing me something. A placeholder is like showing me a place I can investigate and go deeper into. Um, sometimes if, if, you know, cause I'm human, it happens. It happens to everybody that maybe we will have energy pent up in a certain part of our body. And it's a placeholder, a place to go to later and investigate deeper, go deeper. Where, where is this leading me? You know, there's gifts in there. There's always gifts in that. So, um, there you have it. Three steps. Please leave a note. I would love to hear feedback. Um, what do you think? You know, this is a big topic. I opened up an email in, in my email account that that was the first thing it said steps to releasing emotional blockages and it was just it was just crazy to me that you know the things it wasn't this her you know the I don't even I didn't actually read the whole thing but we're giving r wrong information the right information is that emotions need a place to go feel the emotion process it and accept the fact that it's part of life. So anyway, subscribe, like the video, dislike the video. Please leave me any comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much.